I'm 100% trying to fight back tears. I don't know why I'm crying. Oh. Don't you think we're together? Oh, I think we are. Good morning. You'll notice I'm 100% trying to fight back tears. Um, everything's good. I'm just getting ready to say goodbye. Come here. Come here. I'm just getting ready to say goodbye to this little girl, and I'm so happy for her, and I'm happy she spent a couple days here, but it's crazy. I think I must also be like emotional. I don't know why I'm crying. Oh, I'm happy she's going. I don't have the energy to care for you, little girl. But um, it was a good couple days. Thanks for spending a couple days here. Thanks. But you have a wonderful new home you need to go fill with joy and puppyhood. And uh, Ollie's used to being an only dog, so he'll be glad to have all the attention back on him. He's funny. He's like, he's like not into the puppy stuff. He's like, excuse me, I'm an old man. It's funny. What do you think? Is baby puppy gonna go home? <laughs> oh man. I'm ready for all this sickness to be out of the house. I'm ready to be able to sit right up close to Peter again. He just left, actually. That's why he's not... <gasps> Are they here? I thought they weren't going to be here for another hour. Okay, I better wipe my tears. They're here. Nix that. That was not them. And this was really cute. She just picked up the end of her leash and brought it in here. And now she's eating my hand. Puppyhood! <laughs> oh, man. She had another good night last night. She did wake up at 6.15 in the morning, ready to go to the bathroom. But um, Peter helped us out with that. And, uh, oh, what are you eating? What? Oh. <laughs> Ollie, what do you think? What do you think of all this? Thanks for modeling the Fry Life bandana, which is vintage merch. That was from the Ollie Boy bundles last year. But the Ollie, Ollie boys are still on the site, on our shop. They just don't come with that bandana anymore. But they are still available. Excuse me, that's mine. And I just weighed her, she's 26 pounds. She is, she is tiny, but she's like, she's a, I don't know, she's a big dog. Like there's a difference between a, a small dog that's 26 pounds and like a big dog. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> what do you think? I'll go get you. I'll go get you. Poodles. is a pro at the puppy pounce. Okay, ready? <coughs> oh, ball. Oh, ball. Cool. It was funny the first day she couldn't figure out how to pick that big ball up. And now she's a pro. Oh, back to the other toy. Oh, back to the ball. <coughs> You're welcome for the puppy footage. Okay, the tears have stopped. <coughs> but I just realized I, I've started with a fever again. Um, overall, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. 
and I'm pretty glad for that. But I am starting with a fever again, and I'm wondering if that's why I was crying so much. I was like bawling. Here, you can say oh, hi to them. Good morning, guys. <coughs> Tell them I was at a meeting. Yeah. That was a <coughs> hard moment to walk out the house as Mary was teary eyed. And, uh, but we're home now. Puppy's resting. I just saw a comment about how she's so calm whenever you're vlogging. And I was almost like, that's because we literally can't pick the camera yeah. up. Oh, she, she's... She's everywhere. She's puppy when we don't have the camera. Well, I, I did I did get uh, last night in yesterday's vlog. You can see plenty of puppy time. But and it was actually self-contained puppy time, which isn't always the case. Yeah, that's how it was, like, that hour you were gone. It was like she was just everywhere. Mm. But she's, I mean, she's darling. Yeah. She's that's that's puppy. puppy. Yep. But. I had a good meeting, but it's good to be home with Mary. And I'm glad that she's not crying, but I'm not <laughs> glad that she has a fever. So. I think if I thought about it for like four seconds. Start crying. I'm guessing that it's like remembering when I was getting ready to say goodbye to Ollie, but it's completely different. Yeah. But I, even just remembering that is. See, I don't even remember. Oh man, I remember that summer before Scotland. Just like yeah, snuggling yeah. Ollie and singing that song from Wicked. Oh, oh. And just imagining him leaving. But it all, all right. worked out in the end. Yep. That's it. Coughing happening right now. But... A little less snot. <coughs> True. <coughs> There's always a breath. <coughs> Guess what? <coughs> the little girl <coughs> is gone. We said goodbye to Bailey Joy, and it was a <coughs> it was a joy to have her, and it was also um, a reminder of how our family unit, as it is. Yes. Is perfect. <laughs> it's complete for us. Yeah. And <coughs> I was reminded today as as we were saying goodbye to Bailey and it just brings back the journey of getting Ollie and all that and how there's <coughs> seasons in life. Like there's seasons where you have new things and we, we had a new creature in our home for a <coughs> few days and that was a season and now it's the three of us. And uh, Ollie found a baseball in the yard and uh, he's very proud of it. <laughs> oh, Mary girl. If I could, I'd take my cold back. Hey. But I have a no return policy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, guys. You gotta laugh or else you'll cry, right? That's right. We do things together as a team, so that's why I caught it. Although, that wasn't the plan. Well, so then the question is, in the future, when you get sick, forget the precautions. No. We I gotta, guess we have to we try. Gotta, we gotta try. Maybe. Mm, hazmat suits? Oh, man. <laughs> But, you know what? It's fine. Like, I was gonna get... I was gonna come off of the wellspring. The wellspring of life. Yeah. But, like, no. I'm so grateful for that couple of months. Or, it was about eight weeks that I've been feeling pretty stinking good. Yeah. I mean, it's still the normal morning coughing Re and all of that. Relatively. But, like, compared to what it was a couple yeah. months before that, I'm so grateful. Yeah. Obviously, I think the the takeaway from this is there's always, like, a different way to look at a situation. Yeah. You could look at it like Mary 
just came off steroids and her body's not as strong and so it's a bad time for her to get a cold. Or you could look at it as she just had a strong season and hey, might as well get the cold now as opposed to wasting those good weeks. And it's, Which as if we had a choice. Yeah, there's always, I the what we do have a choice is how to look at things. Yeah. And you know, there's that saying that life is 10% what happens and 90% how you respond to it. And yeah. There's a lot of truth there. Well, and like, it would take a lot of energy to waste on being mad about it or like, like we were bummed. Yeah, I think, I think I've wasted a little bit of energy being bummed about Like it. we were bummed, but like, yeah. whatever, you know, we can't change what happened. Yeah. And it's not like, well, here's the other thing. It's not like if we could rewind, we would have yeah. not gone to that social event where yeah, we're pretty we, sure we caught it. Like, we, that was what we were doing in our life. We're thankful we were able to do that. And, I mean, yeah. it's. I was strong enough to go to that event. Yeah. It's just, it does, like, remind us, basically... Mary getting sick. Like, it reminds us of how complicated life is. Like... Yeah, that's true. It, yeah. It, there's just... No easy... There's no easy route in life. That's... Yeah. That's for sure. Whether and, you have CF or not. Yeah. <laughs> talking about easy routes while we're talking about life with CF. But... But, like, even down to... It's so crazy because when when I when my health like when my lungs and my infection were like stable I was burning less calories I had more of an appetite and now just in a matter of days I hopped on the scale today and just of two days of being sick my weight has already started to drop mm. and it instantly was like another reason I'm so grateful I have this feeding tube is like the mental stress of yeah if i get so sick that i like or say yeah. i have to start ivs or something yeah. and i like drop the weight like that we have control over my body still getting nutrients yeah. like for right now I, although my appetite's not as good i can still eat and like i can still maintain my weight it's yeah. dropping a little bit but i'm still in a totally safe yeah. zone and we have the tools we need for when we need them and all that. Yeah. And I think, I mean, talk about seasons of life. I remember, like, just, what, two years ago, just you getting sick and just that stress about food and trying to get Mary to eat. and. Well, even, it, uh, we just got rid of a mug because it, like, brought tears because it was reminding oh, us of a shake. really sick time two mm -hmm. years ago. And I remember drinking a Scandi shake out of it, like the gain weight. Yeah. It was, it was an, I don't want to say it was a desperate time, but in some ways we were having conversations we had never had before. We were we, trying things we had never tried before. Yeah, we were reaching places in my treatment that we had yeah. never had to think about. And <laughs> anyway, so we got rid of that mug, but, mm. um, yeah, but all of that to say, we're grateful for where we are right now. I can handle a cold. Like, I mean, we'll see what my lungs do, but at least my weight, like. Yeah. But I I have to be completely honest. I mean, we try to be completely honest, of course. But, like, it did make me, it did, like, rattle me a little because I was like, wow, this could go south yeah. real quickly. Yeah. But we'll handle it as it comes. Yeah. So, anyway, okay, there's our nighttime story. couch chat for you, and as always, as always, we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <coughs> Good night. <coughs> to the Ollie boy. <coughs>